For years, malaria had been one of the leading causes of death among pregnant women and children under the age of five. Thanks to a government awareness campaign, the number of malaria cases has dropped sharply. But the disease remains endemic in parts of Somalia. And now there are fresh concerns that the information isn't reaching affected communities. Awareness is the health ministry's priority at the moment. We've sensitized people to get rid of stagnant water, trim the grass and bushes near their homes. We are encouraging people to use insect repellent, take preventive measures and use mosquito nets. At this referral hospital in Mogadishu, healthcare experts are educating women about the importance of mosquito nets in preventing children's deaths. The Somali government provides free nets at all medical centers. It's also started monitoring malaria drugs used in hospitals. In collaboration with UN health organizations like UNICEF and the WHO, who distributed hundreds of thousands, almost a million mosquito nets, as well as medicine, now we need to get rid of fake malaria medication. There's also some good news. A new vaccine is set to be tested in Ghana, Kenya and Malawi next year. It's a medical breakthrough. The vaccine underwent several tests and the World Health Organization and a team of experts decided to trial it in sub-Saharan Africa. This pilot will determine how countries will tackle malaria going forward. Here in Somalia, malaria is endemic in the southern, central and northern regions of the country. But if the new vaccine is successful, Dying from the mosquito-borne disease could soon be a thing of the past. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.